I'm Mike, and today I want to talk about the Dalai Lama. I always assumed that he was at least vegetarian, maybe even vegan curious, but it has repeatedly come to my attention that the Dalai Lama eats animals. He's literally supposed to be a reincarnated embodiment of compassion. Not for animals, apparently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Obviously, I am in massive support of his human rights campaign, and especially the work he does for Tibetan people. But why does he draw the line at animals? Well, in terms of his diet, yes he does, but philosophically he actually doesn't. Here is a quote, he says, People think of animals as if they were vegetables, and that is not right. We have to change the way people think about animals. I encourage the Tibetan people and all people to move toward a vegetarian diet that doesn't cause suffering. So why does the Dalai Lama himself eat meat instead of acting according to his own teachings? For starters, the Dalai Lama was raised eating meat. But you would think that the reincarnation of compassion itself would, even as a child, refuse to eat meat like this kid did. What are they to come out and but Tibet is a harsh environment to grow plant foods. That's the cultural excuse anyway. But if there is a will, there is a way. I once met a guy who was in the Navy who packed his food for months on end so that he could be vegan. The Dalai Lama can do it easily. It's like he's actively trying to not be vegetarian. When he visited the White House, he declined a vegetarian meal with, quote, I'm a Tibetan monk, not a vegetarian. I'm not the only person disappointed by the Dalai Lama's meat consumption. In a letter, Paul McCartney wrote him, quote, Forgive me for pointing this out, but if you eat animals, then there is some suffering somewhere along the line. The Dalai Lama replied by saying his doctors told him he had to eat meat, and Paul McCartney replied saying that's nonsense. And that's where it ended. To be fair, the Dalai Lama has dabbled in vegetarianism and was vegetarian for almost two years at one point. But his doctors recommended that he should resume eating the flesh of animals because he got hepatitis, aka a liver infection, despite there being no literature on meat for hepatitis. But liver infections tend to go away naturally, like his certainly did, and then he decided to hold on to that fallacy. But as we know, and the studies have shown, a whole food vegan diet is amazing at reducing inflammation, which is key in infections. Also, the longest living population ever studied the Adventist vegetarians eat no meat, and roughly 20% of them are vegan, so there really is no health excuse for this one. Okay, so there must be something somewhere in Buddhism that condones the eating of animals. This comes largely from the Jivaka Sutta, which says it's completely okay to eat most animals, but quote, meat should not be eaten under three circumstances when it is seen or heard or suspected that a living being has been purposefully slaughtered for the eater. Yes, this is the flesh of a pig that was tortured endlessly in a battery cage of its own feces, but it wasn't killed specifically for you. Here, take a bite, Mr. Lama. Well, allegedly, the first Buddha wasn't even vegetarian. He was more of a freegan just eating whatever people gave him. And from another scripture, the Amaganda Sutta, when a vegetarian asked the 27th Buddha what he thought about eating meat, he responded with, quote, taking life, beating, wounding, binding, stealing, lying, deceiving, worthless knowledge, adultery. This is stench, not the eating of meat. It's amazing how these scriptures can start to look a bit like the hypocritical ramblings that are usually reserved for the YouTube comment section. Yes, this cow was bound, beaten, stolen from, and had its life taken, but nothing actually bad happens when I literally take a bite. Watch. I don't, I don't hear any screaming. But as you know, not all Buddhists think it's okay to eat animals. Though it is not followed by the Tibetan Buddhists, the Mahayana branch of Buddhism, which is largely made up of Chinese and Indian Buddhists, has an emphasis on vegetarianism. In the Mahayana Sutras, which were reportedly Buddha's final teachings, he said it's not okay for his followers to eat meat or fish, and he even went full vegan and said it's not okay to pick the meat out of a meal and then eat the rest. From the same scripture, on the very eve of Buddha's death, he said, quote, The eating of meat extinguishes the seed of great kindness. Personally, I think I'm gonna let that seed grow. Yeah, but then it gets replaced with the vegan seed of great smugness. Enter. Okay, to be clear, I'm not telling the Dalai Lama to reevaluate his school of Buddhism, but he doesn't even have to be the first Tibetan Buddhist to do this. From this book, The Life of Shabkar, the autobiography of a Tibetan yogi. Above all, you must constantly train your mind to be loving, compassionate, and filled with bodhicitta, which is the wish to attain enlightenment motivated by great compassion for all sentient beings. You must give up eating meat, for it is very wrong to eat the flesh of our parent sentient beings. 
So there's a well-paved path for a Tibetan Buddhist like the Dalai Lama to go vegetarian. But I have to say, vegetarian is not enough. The veal industry is also the dairy industry. The egg industry is also the chicken nugget industry. Okay, here comes the obvious part. Hold on to your hats. Yes, the Dalai Lama needs to go vegan. He is a spiritual guide. He should establish a spiritual baseline. And because of how influential he is on not just the world, but especially China and Chinese leadership, given that China's meat consumption has raised by a magnitude of six times in the last 40 years, that growth is horrid for the animals and the environment. And speaking of the environment, just two days ago, the Dalai Lama got together with some other religious leaders, including Desmond Tutu, and drafted an interfaith statement which has no mention of reducing meat consumption or how livestock is the leading cause of environmental destruction and greenhouse gas emissions. Instead it really just talks about reducing fossil fuel consumption which we need to do but is not nearly enough. So Mr. Dalai Lama whether it's to follow your own spiritual teachings on animal sentience to follow some of what other Buddhists have done or simply to just do what is best for the environment it appears you need to take a page out of the book of who you've been compared to in some aspect for your entire life. You need to go vegan like a real llama. All right, that's it for today. In case you missed my previous video, I have recently started a Patreon, a Patreon, a Patreon account. And so make your way over there if you would like to support me. And thank you very much for watching.